Ramadan Picks Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My dear brothers and sisters in Islam Welcome to a brand new episode of Ramadan Picks Inshallah ta'ala in the few minutes that I have with you all I'm going to be touching on a very very great act of worship A very very great act of ibadah An act of worship which is a secret between the Lord and his slave and this is the act of worship that almost around 2 billion Muslims around the world are performing right now, right now during the blessed month of Ramadan. A psalm in the Arabic language, which can be defined as fasting, is to abstain from food, drink, and sexual intercourse from dawn till sunset. And during the month of Ramadan, it is mandatory and obligatory upon every Muslim male and female who has attained puberty to fast the entire month unless a valid excuse such as sickness, travel or menstruation presents itself. There are a number of benefits that can be highlighted in regard to fasting. The benefits can be divided into two main categories, benefits for our physical bodies and benefits for our spiritual souls. Let's start off with the benefits that our bodies experience during fasting, the physical benefits. But bear in mind that Muslims do not solely fast because of the medical benefits which are of a much secondary nature in comparison to the spiritual benefits that an individual uh, reaps through fasting. So benefit number one, intermittent fasting changes the function of cells, genes and hormones. When you don't eat for a while, several things start to happen in your body. For example, your body starts to initiate important cellular repair processes and changes hormone levels to make stored body fat more accessible. Doctors and experts state that many changes occur in your body during fasting, such as number one, insulin levels. Blood levels of insulin drop significantly and this facilitates fat burning. Number two, human growth hormone. The blood levels of growth hormone may increase as much as five-fold. Higher levels of this hormone facilitate fat burning and muscle gain and have a number of other benefits as well. Number three, cellular repair. The body induces important cellular repair processes such as removing of waste material from cells. Number four, gene expression. There are beneficial changes in several genes and molecules related to longevity and protection against a number of diseases. The next benefit in line is that intermittent fasting can help you lose weight and belly fat. It can help you lose and shed weight. Fasting can reduce insulin resistance and this lowers your risk of type 2 diabetes. Fasting has shown to have a positive effect on insulin sensitivity allowing you to tolerate carbohydrates, in other words, sugar, better than if you did not fast. Intermittent fasting can also reduce oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. Additionally, studies also show that fasting can help fight inflammation, like I mentioned earlier, which is another key driver of all sorts of common diseases. Fasting speeds up our metabolisms as well, our metabolism mechanisms. Fasts can regulate your digestion and promote healthy bubble function, thus improving your metabolism once again. Fasting is also good for your brain. You might wonder why. What is good for the body is often good for the brain as well. Fasting improves various other features known to be important, very much important for brain health. Fasting has also shown to improve uh, other brain functions because it boosts the production of a protein called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF. Doctors state this. Moving on, fasting also improves your immune system because it reduces free radical damage, it regulates inflammatory conditions in the body, and it starves off cancer cell formation. So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this list keeps going on and on and on. But it is of extreme importance that we understand as Muslims that fasting during the month of Ramadan can most definitely be very, very good for your health if it is done correctly. Many of us tend to break our fast daily with feasts spread across huge tables, resulting in us actually gaining much more weight during the month of Ramadan than during normal days. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, 
the underlying principle that needs to be adhered to behind the month of Ramadan is self-discipline and self-control. This should never ever fall apart at the end of the day. A balanced and wholesome diet that contains foods from all the major food groups is vital to maintaining good health and reaping the benefits of fasting. So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, make sure that you strike a balance. Because when you look at the teachings of the Prophet wasallam, you see it very clearly that even in terms of how you're supposed to eat, he wasallam, taught us that we are supposed to divide our stomach into three portions. One third for air, one third for solids, and one third for liquids. You can see a perfect balance in what he wasallam, taught us. So if we wish to live healthy lives, productive lives, to do a lot of good in this world, to reap the very best in the next world, we have to strive to emulate the beautiful teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad So with that, more or less, I conclude this video. The next video will be part two of this video, inshallah, where I will delve into the spiritual benefits of fasting. I look forward to talking to you all in that video, inshallah ta'ala. So until then, please don't forget to share this video around as much as possible to inspire others and to also share in on the reward. So until then, Jazakumullah khair, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.